I'm Paul Shaw, the Principal Rural Forest of the uh, Thames Valley Rural Fire Authority. We're here today at uh, Prestige Diesel and Marine in Otahu in Auckland, just behind the Otahu Fire Station. We're here because of this vehicle. This is our new um, Isuzu D-Max twin cab um, smoke chaser vehicle that is going to be taken up and positioned into the uh, Coldwell Fire Force. Um, as you can see, she's cut it out with... Uh, emergency lighting and everything here and we'll just move around the vehicle now and have a bit of a look at it. Um, the plastic body that's going on the rear of it is uh, the first one of its type uh, in the country. Fully moulded plastic body, um, lightweight, durable and fit for purpose and it's going to be a great vehicle going into our rural fire force on the peninsula. So moving around the vehicle now, the Isuzu twin cab um, excellent payload and very good quality vehicle and inside it's been kitted out and ready to roll for the emergency services. So inside the vehicle here up, up on the dash has been specifically set up for us here so we've got the land mobile radio here which is designed for talking to fire communications centres and that gives us good communications with Firecom and any New Zealand fire service brigades that may come up uh, to assist us uh, in any operations. And then going forward, just the lighting systems for the emergency lighting system and also for the locker lights and everything that have been positioned on the back. And then this one here we have is our siren system. So we've got our siren and we've also got an electronic horn and it's also a PA system so uh, you can talk to the public or talk to any people around uh, through the microphone on the outside as well. Coming back out now we've got uh, New Zealand Rural Fire Authority um, signage is going to be on it and just turning around here right along the side of the vehicle we're going to have the reflective striping like this so it's going to be very visible to the public uh, in any sort of situation. Okay, carrying on around the vehicle now, we come to the plastic body. This is the basic unit here. Um, first of its, uh, it'll be the first operational one of its type in the country. The other one just behind us in the workshop is a demonstrator model that uh, Prestige Diesel and Marine is setting up. Okay, within the lockers, set up specifically and designed for us in here behind this wall we've got a uh, 300 litre water tank so there's 300 litres of water carried on site and then room for a volume pump to go in here and then associated waterway equipment to go in here um, there's plenty of room inside for all the equipment and smooth and easy to use locker doors then down there's a small locker down in here which once again we'll be able to put in uh, things like first aid equipment and uh, any other associated smaller gear just fitting into the small lockers. Remembering this body, it uh, looks, uh, looks as though it's uh, made of uh, steel or something like that, but it's actually a fully moulded plastic body, so it's all plastic the entire thing. So this is designed for getting to the small fires before they get big and they're going to uh, use this to uh, get in there and attack the fires and hopefully get them while they're small before they turn into something big that we need extra extra gear in to, uh, to deal with. Around to the other side, got a similar small locker down here for um, extra small gear. Once again, another large locker in here. We've got room for hand tools through the top and we've got room here for a Wajax pump and also associated hose packs that go with all that sort of thing. So there's plenty of locker space within the, uh, the vehicle. It's only just arrived in the country um, over the weekend and it's just sitting on the body at the moment. The, the crew now have got to get together, so I've got to bolt it on, put all the reflective striping on and wire it all up. So uh, finally here we are, this is the vehicle and um, I'm sure that Coldwell Fire Force, where it's going to be positioned, they'll be very happy it's going up there. It's purpose-built, it's fit for purpose, and it's been designed specifically for rural fire, and it's going to be a great asset to the Coldwell community.